You would think, with all this stuff here, somebody could make something out of it. I got it. Okay guys, what we're going to do today, we're going to try to take these three bottles and we're going to make a continuous water fountain out of them. Now, I've been seeing a lot of videos, different ways you can do this and uh, I thought I'd give it a shot for Monkey, you know, she likes water fountains. I just thought it'd be, you know, a little different and, uh, you know, something I made for her. So, um, I brought it up. I got one of the videos on my phone right here, so I'm going to go by that. So, there'll be a lot of cutting in this video because I don't want you just to sit and wait while I'm watching what to do next. So, I've never done this before, so it's not that, you know, I'm showing you how to do it because I really don't know myself. But, we're going to give it a shot together and see see if we if we can do this and make it work, okay? So, the first thing I'm going to start, I'm going to peel these labels off of here, and then we'll go on to step two. Okay, the first step, it says to glue two of these together. So, we're just going to use this hot glue gun, and we're going to glue these two uh, caps together here all right then the second step is to drill a hole in the center of these caps for one straw. So I'm going to let that cool down. And then we'll go ahead and drill the hole. to the next step. So it says the next step is to glue this straw in here. So I've already got a little glue on there because I messed up the other straw. And I just ruined the straw. Outtake. But it doesn't say how far but it looked to be something like that. So let's go ahead and glue this the rest of the way on here. We got some up there in the top, so all right, let's let that cool and see what our next step is. Like I said, I've never done this, guys, so and it doesn't say, it just says in the description what you'll need and then it says follow the instructions on the video and all it does is play music and show them doing it but I like to talk to you guys so let's let that cool okay now apparently we screw this onto here like that and then when I watched it, it looked like he had that pretty well straight so that's the way we're going to go with it and then you screw this one on here okay then we cut this one in half alright so let's go ahead and do that uh... let me see ok 
Okay, so let's cut this in half. Somewhat. If this works, I'll build a real nice one. They say it does. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so we have screwed these bottles together. Now it says it's showing, it doesn't really say anything on the straw side, and I've cut one in half. It says on the straw side we gotta glue these two things together. Now I've changed glue guns because the other glue gun I was using was just too damn hot. Look, it's melting the melting everything. So I'm gonna try her glue gun. Seems to be better. It says glue that together. Alright. All right, now let's let this cool and let me see what else, what's next. Okay, now it's saying, show you the picture. It's saying to mark this one. It looks to be about like, right about there, there, and mark the bottom. About right there. Whoops. <laughs> Monkey's messaging me. About right there. And then you flip it over until those are on the bottom. Now it says to mark this one. Right about here. And the top one right about there. I mean it just goes so fast. You know they just do it so fast and then Oh, anybody can do it. Okay, whatever. Alright, so we've got our holes marked. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not going to use a drill because I just screwed up a bottle doing that. Yep, just drill the holes. So I'm going to try to use this thing to make the holes and that's pretty damn easy. Alright, so there's our holes. Now let's uh, see it says to, it doesn't say what size hose but this hose is from an oxygen uh, for you know people to breathe that kind of oxygen people on oxygen we got a bunch of these monkey you know being in the medical field she uh, she has a lot of that stuff she says oh I got all kind of plastic ho or rubber hose in there I said cool so doesn't say how far in to put it but and then it says to come up to the top one here and put it in there so let's make it about oh let's say this long for safe measure and to put it in that hole there okay looks like his is a little shorter let's make it a little bit shorter like it may be too short but it'll work for the top one I'm sure but see it doesn't give the lengths or anything so like I said I've never done this before so I'm just guessing kinda it's kinda gonna look like a hookah hookah bar probably get demonetized for saying hookah All right. So we're going to put that in there, this in here, and 
let's glue it. This has a lot, uh, high and low setting on it. I got it on the low setting so it doesn't melt. The other gun I was using didn't. And it just, it wouldn't even shut off apparently. It just kept getting hotter and hotter. Okay, there's that. It's kind of weird, but whoa shit. Probably just glued the whole shut. Alright, I'm going to let this cool. Well, screw it. Let's go ahead and do this one. You know what? I'm going to put it around the hose first. Alright? And then we'll stick it in there. Like that. Same way with this one. Let's put it around the hose first. Alright, let's let that cool. And while that's cooling, I'm going to check and see what we do next. Because we're doing this together, guys. If you've never done one of these, we're learning together. So it's going to be fun. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, this should be interesting. I got this old vase here. And it says to fill this up. Up in here. And to let it go down. I'm sorry I don't have any dye to uh, dye the water a different color. Okay, yeah, it's going to take a little bit, but it is filling. I don't know if you can see the water going down that hose. I do have a leak here somewhere out of that hose. But it does, but it does, I can see it going down. So I'm going to try to get this filled up, and then we got to prime it. We'll have to turn it upside down and stuff. But it is going down that hose. But I do have a leak, so I'm going to get that fixed. And then I'll be back with you. Alright, I think I've got all the leaks fixed. So what it's doing is it's, the top part is filling up the bottom part. So let's get it full. And it's going along pretty quick, so if this works, I'm going to make one out of two liter bottles. I think that would be fun. What do you guys think? Yeah, it's going right down in there. Give it a little bit more. I had to fix a couple leaks during last break. So, all right, now it says to, let me get you down here. To dump this this in here so we don't make a mess and then we're going to just flip it upside down and it's leaking of course but this this is supposed to fill this one up well I guess it's not leaking all right so Let's let that do its thing. Because he, he uh, timed it. He uh, like made it go real fast. So this is going to take a minute or two. So let's let this fill this bottom part up. There it goes. I had some water in that tube. Alright, so now we flip it back up. Okay. We've got her flipped up now. Now it says to fill this back up. So let's fill the top back up again. Oh, it's already working. Can you guys see that?
You see the water coming out of there? I don't have any way to stand this up, but... Can you see it? It's working. It is definitely working. Alright, let me try to find a stand for this thing. Okay guys, I've got some coloring in this water. I'm going to show you something. Put the water in here. And there it is, it's running. You see that? See how it's running in there? Now before you guys go and try this, it's not a continuous water fountain by any means. Because it's only going to run until this runs out of water. See, it's still running. But, that is because there's still water in that second bottle. Once that water runs out, that's going to stop. And I've argued that, of course, with people when they swear up and down it's going to keep running. It can't. See, it's stopping already. Because the second bottle ran out of water. See? See, the second bottle's out of water. So it cannot run constantly. It cannot be continuous. But it was a good experiment. If you guys want to try it, go for it. But, uh, you know, if you got the stuff, really all you need is tubes and a straw. Um, yeah, it's not, you know, it can't keep running. Because now, the middle bottle was empty and it can't fill up because all this is doing is pushing water up through that straw now I, I went ahead and added another tube on here but uh, it's still still it's just going to you know it's just going to run till the till the middle It's just going to run until the middle bottle runs out of water. So, there you go. It's not continuous by any means. Yeah, it's a good concept. Because if it would work up there on top, you could put a little wheel with a little motor on it, a little generator, and it would be perpetual. You'd have constant energy. But that's not going to happen. So, there you go, guys. Was it fun? Yeah, it was fun. But, uh... Does it work? No, it's only going to work till the middle bottle runs out. So when you see them videos that say continuous water fountain or perpetual, they're full of shit. So, anyway guys, there's another one for you. Um, Monkey will still like it though, it's kind of cool. I didn't think it was going to work because I've argued it and argued it and everybody swears it does. No, it's clickbait. So, you know, don't pay any attention to it. I'll title this one, Does Not Work. <laughs> But that's, that's why, because it runs out of water. So, there you go, guys. Jay Bear, the Myth Man Legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.